Hi everyone, this is Jennifer and I am bringing you the review on Easy Win subscription package that I talked about in my last video. I did already open it. It is Christmas time, so I had to make sure this is what it was, but I, I vaguely looked through there, but I haven't really seen everything that is in here. And this is only my first time filming, so bear with me on that. So here we go. So I believe this kit costs $47 a month if you want to go and get it monthly. Um, let's see, we have one, two, three, four, five, or three different diamond kits, and here's oh, drills. Drills are inside this one for the Christmas one, and we will open those in one second. So they do send you a kit for, it looks like, every one that you're doing. So we do have the boat, the wax, we have a pen with a squishy and some tweezers. These are the sharp tweezers, I believe. And they're not too bad, but they, they're pretty sharp. So you do get to those. This is going to tell you what you got. So if you don't want to know what you got, set that aside. Oh, these are cover minders. And Kitty is going to come and join us. Let's see if I can get into this. Wow. Well, they did a good job of packaging it. Oh, those are cute. They're little cupcakes, I believe. Oh, those are cute. They're all stuck together. This one, two, three, four, and five little, or, oh, there are six cover minders. And these are the other magnets. I'm not going to try to pull them apart right now. There we go. All right. And then this looks like. Um, I guess you could make keychains. Just a little keychain. Well, these are cute. And they are on both sides. So you just peel this off and complete it on both sides. So we have a Christmas tree. We have a sleigh. With Santa with a stocking. Sorry about the kitten in the background. Santa with a tree. Go. Yeah. Bells. Snowman. Oh, this one. Oh, it's still sticky. Paper's kind of messed up. Penguin and another little stocking. So those are kind of cute. They're really hard plastic, so you can put them on your keychain. They'd be safe. It does come with a standard little kit with a stylus, a boat, and some wax. And these are all the drills that go with those. They are rhinestones. And it doesn't come with any um, like legends or anything, but you can see, let's see, let me find a one. So here's a one. So everywhere that you see one, you'll just grab this package and put a one there. And there's some ones on the Santa's face. So here's the colors. I'm sorry, the lighting is not great, but this is going to be like a clear red. Um, really pretty pink, yellow, green, teal, blue, orange. Oh, and these are cute. These are little stars. 
And that would go on the Christmas tree, or the, yeah, it's this little Christmas tree here. Um, it looks like on, no, oh, that one's, well. And then we have these little clear round ones, clear red, yellow, green, blue. These are a different shape, and they are a pinkish red. They're kind of metallic. We have another one like that that's green, blue, and yellow. So those will be fun to do for Christmas. Set those aside. Did get a different stylus pen. Um, it does light up, however, they did not send any batteries. So, and I don't have any AAA batteries to test it out. But it's just your standard drill pen. It's a little bit bigger than a regular drill pen. Um, it's pretty light. Alrighty, so here is our Christmas canvas. Oh, it's a stocking. Oh, that's cute. That's really cute. So you'll drill both sides and then you cut along, cut along the edge of the pattern and then the blue color is the embroidery trace. So, oh, here we go. This is the kit that comes with it. It says blue, however it is red, which is better because it matches the stocking. You have a few bags in this one. Um, there is some wax and then a pen. And then here are our drill colors. Again, there's no legend or anything to tell you where they go, but they do just have numbers. So one is here, which is going to be red. So you'll just look for the number and place the right drill alongside of it. So we have red, white, and, and so this is an AB white. So it's got more a little more sparkle to it. And then we have yellow, some purple, some green, and brown. And then we also have some red rhinestone. Two different shades of red, or two different sizes. And they're in the little baggies. That back in here. I'm interested to see how this will work. Um, sorry, this noise. Um, it's still regular canvas feeling, so I don't really know what it'll feel like. But I will work on this here shortly, and then I will um, show you guys the finished product. Okay, I put it on a quick pause. I wanted to go and see if I closed the blinds, if we'd be able to see these a little bit better. So I did choose a mystery and then a wolf one. My mom does like wolves, so I thought if I could get this in time, maybe I could do it for her for Christmas. However, I ended up getting something else for her for Christmas. So we will see. These come packaged by the, separately on a foam roller. Um, yeah. Hold on one second, I'm gonna grab some scissors. Do not wanna cut the canvas. That sure was some sticky tape. All right, so these are going to be double-sided adhesive. Um, a lot of people don't care for double-sided adhesive. I've been diamond painting for about six months or so. Um, I don't really have a preference just yet. Um, I, I just have heard not always great things about double-sided adhesive. However, you will not be able to see the images 
Um, I will get as close as I can. So this is gonna be a little, a puppy with flowers. He's cute. It's a 30 by 40. Um, so a little trick to help you with double-sided adhesive is to just pull back the corner. Just be really careful that you don't pull, start pulling at the glue. Um, just pull back the corner and then put it back on each corner. And that is going to help you to get it to uncurl. Now with double-sided adhesive, you do get rivers and creases quite often. Um, I did a very large custom painting and it was double-sided adhesive and I had quite a bit of creasing and some rivers. It worked out okay though. I'm going to pull this back so we can maybe see how this, I'm not going to pull it all the way off because then I won't be able to get it right back on. Um, so it looks pretty good. I mean, I'm looking through the camera right now and it looks pretty good. I don't think it's too pixelated. It probably would have been better off as a bigger picture, but it's very cute. Um, and just flatten it back down as best that you can so that there's no air pockets to get those rivers in there. Now, um, double-sided, you don't ever want to roll it the opposite direction. So if you want to store them rolled, then I suggest put them back on the roller. Um, I do not store them rolled up. I will go and put this up in the closet. It's actually a very good canvas. I mean, there's a little bit of, but those will flatten out once they're under, it's underneath something else. And here are the drills. And this is going to be a square. I do prefer square over round. Sorry about that noise. Oh, I'm not going to show the colors because they already have them kitted up for us. That's great. That's a great touch. I do like using my storage boxes a little bit better than the plastic baggies just because they're a little bit more, they're just easier. So here's another photo of the cute little puppy. And we have 25 colors in this. Um, here's the symbols. They don't look too difficult. Oh, they're all letters or numbers. So this will be a very easy canvas to work on. Um, looks like they sell some stretcher bars. I'm interested in trying those to frame because let me tell you, framing diamond paintings can get pretty expensive. So here's all of the colors. I'm not gonna pull them all out. Um, not a little hitchhiker in this one, but really pretty. All right, and here is the last one. Again, it's on a foam roller. It is double-sided adhesive. And they do tape it on there. The tape isn't really sticky, but it sure is on there tight, so you can't just take it off. You gotta cut it off. Sometimes a little bit easier to. Well, that's not gonna work. If you have an edge of your table that's actually open, then you can actually use it that way. You can run it along your. Now I probably should not have opened that one right away like I did. I should have let it kind of sit there and just kind of give it a minute to. Think. I think I'm going to do that with this one. That way it can kind of sit here and... Oh, but this is really pretty. My mom would actually probably still like this one. And it's just a white wolf. Um, looks like there's something by his 
face. However, the picture is very small, so I cannot see. I'm gonna let that sit there for just a minute. Sometimes you can just run your fingers along to try to get the air bubbles out. And we are, it looks like it's all blues and some greens and grays and some black. This will be really pretty. That's actually my mom's favorite color too. I don't think I can get another a diamond painting completed for her in time for Christmas. So maybe next year, who knows. Uh, so there's nothing on the wolf's face. It just looks like just a, maybe a mess up in the image. It's very, um, Right here, there's just a spot that didn't get any color, so I might just see about trying to fix that spot on his face once I'm completed with the painting if it doesn't look good. Another one with 25 colors, and they are, again, numbers and letters. That is really great. Let me tell you, some of these canvases that have symbols on them, um, they are very... Sometimes they're very hard to read them, so that's really nice. You know what, I'm gonna open this other canvas up real quick and look at what it looks like on the canvas itself. So I'm seeing that in the dark, in these dark boxes, you have the dark color with the white background of the letter, and the white background you have the dark letter, so that is very nice. Makes it a lot easier to read. Um, I don't even think you would need a light board. However, I do prefer using a light board. It's just easier on these eyes of mine. Um, the canvas is really sticky also. So that's really good. I'm actually impressed with these. They're, they seem to be good quality. Now, once I actually complete the painting, I will probably do another video with a completion photo and how it worked out. So again, I'm going to go ahead and open this one up and see, and it's going to be the same. You got the dark background with the white letters. The purple also has black letters, however, it is see that spot on the face I don't really know how that's gonna render I feel like I would probably just go in with the the number eight which is a bluish white color um, but I think the picture will turn out okay it doesn't look too pixelated I just don't like that spot on his face right there but we'll see um, so, I just noticed there is something else in this package. So, let me pull this up carefully and get this corner to go down. Now, I do know that you can iron your canvases. I actually have a canvas that I've had sitting underneath our bed for what feels like a month that came to us folded. It was a huge 90 by 90. Um, and it has a very large mailing crease in it. So um, I contacted the seller. However, they have not replied. They wanted photos and I sent them and I have not heard back from them. However, these are going to be the drills for the wolf painting. Like I said, there's some teal and blues, all different shades of blues and gray. And there's a bunch of black. Here's our black. I believe it's black. And number 14. No, this is 939. So there's actually no black in this painting. This is a dark blue color. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm impressed. There's no black. That's awesome. So there we go. And we... What else is in here? 
<laughs> All right, guys, this is a very small light board. Um, it's actually really cute. I, my, you know what, I'm going to put you on pause. I'm going to grab a battery pack to see if it works and if it's dimmable. And I'm going to grab my A4 light pad so that I can show you the difference in the size. We'll be right back. Okay. Did you miss me? <laughs> so for you, I was only gone for a few seconds. However, I was gone for about well, a minute. So this is, it is dimmable. That's actually really nice. Um, but here, and here is my uh, A4. So you can see the size difference. This is great for traveling. I don't know if you are a person who's able to ride on a long car ride and maybe diamond paint, then you can maybe use a smaller one. Um, I do like that it is dimmable. That's a really nice feature. So um, yeah, that was a nice little added bonus. So this is all that we have for Easy Whim. I actually think this subscription um, is pretty decent. You got, I got, three diamond, well, I got two diamond paintings and this cute little Christmas stocking. So a Christmas stocking, two 30 by 40 square pictures. And then we got the Christmas, um, uh, tape is sticking to everything. And we got the Christmas uh, keychains. These are actually really cute. I don't know that I would use it as a keychain. However, you could get some garlands or some twine and run them up and have it like a little garland. Um, so those are really cute. And then we did get the cover minders. Again, they're all stuck together, but these are cute. I don't have any, so I'm actually leaving the plastic on the the one that I'm working on right now. So that will come in handy. And then of course all these toolkits, they actually give you the nicer boats. Um, I do like these boats. They're a little bit bigger and they are really sturdy. Stop. And since it's a square, they give you the tweezers. And the, I've only ever had a, I think a purple squishy. And you know what? They move a lot, and these don't move at all. Um, I don't know if... No, it's not glued. It's just they, they're they really tight. So this is actually really, really good squishy. Um, and, you know, you use it like a pen. I'll, I'll show you guys a little bit more about how to diamond paint. I just wanted to get this review out because I know I was really considering getting this, but I didn't see too many reviews. And so I was kind of hesitant to get that, get the box. But for $47, I do think, you know, you get four projects. So you're looking at about $12 if you don't count the extra stuff that they did provide you. So this little light pad and the cover minders. So uh, give or take. I really just need want diamond paintings I could have done without the light pad however it's a cute little extra touch and if you don't have a light pad then it'll help you I'm I do use mine every single time I diamond paint so and it did come with I don't think I showed but it also came with a little cord I just already had mine from my light pad so um again thank you for watching this is my technically first video, however, I'm about to do an introduction video and put that one out first and then this one will come next. So if you like my channel, I am new and I'd love to have new subscribers. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up and hit the bell so you can get that notification for when the next videos are coming. And you guys have a great day. Thank you.